Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all of my patrons. My name's Neil and today we are watching What We Do in the Shadows. This has been recommended to me a bunch. Thank you so much to the patrons who've done so. I'm excited to jump into it. I know this was sort of Taika Waititi's breakout hit, um, sort of an indie darling film that uh, garnered a lot of attention back in, I think it was 2014. Tell me if I'm wrong. And I know it's kind of a vampire comedy. Uh, I've always had a thing um, for vampires. You know, I, I, I went through a goth phase back in my college years in the early 90s. It was the time of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the Vampire Lestat. There was a role-playing game called Vampire the Masquerade that even had a, a TV series briefly based on it. There was a Canadian show called Forever Night. There was a ton of vampires in popular culture at the time and I, I fully dug it. I always thought vampires were Vampires are so rarely horror, even though we often think of them as classic movie monsters. Really, vampire movies aren't horror movies very often. Much more often, they're a, a way of exploring uh, ideas of romance and tragedy, and more and more frequently in current day, comedy. So I'm excited to see Taika Waititi's take on it. I don't imagine I'm going to recognize a bunch of actors in this because I'm pretty sure this is a New Zealand production and I don't have too much more to say. I know that there is a spin-off TV series with the, of the same name and I am looking for a new uh, show or two to react to in the coming months, guys. So if you're a fan of this movie and you think I'd like the TV series, let me know, and uh, we may be putting it to a vote over on uh, over on Patreon in the coming weeks. We may actually have even already done that poll. Who knows? But uh, keep an eye. Find out whether it won the poll, and uh, if it didn't, it'll be probably on the next one. It'll be on the next poll. So I'm still figuring out how to do all these different references to YouTube time and Patreon time and what what's happening on the channel months from now. It's still my first year, guys. Give me give, give me a bit of uh, a break, and I promise I'll get better at it as time goes on. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what my real expectations are of this, um, but I'm excited to check it out. I'm hoping it's going to be funny as heck, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's got more heart than uh, the average person would expect to, because uh, Tyke is really good at sneaking some of that stuff in. Anyway, let's check it out. This is what we do in the shadows. Oh, I love the old 70s grindhouse film grade. Documentary. Is that a Kiwi joke? Is this film supposed to be a mockumentary? Oh, awesome. I had no idea it was a mockumentary. Look what I can do. <laughs> so it's 6 p.m. in the nighttime. This is always a really scary part for me. Yes! Nighttime. <laughs> so now I'm going to wake up my flatmates. Fratmate? <laughs> We're going to have a little flat meeting in the kitchen in about 15 minutes, okay? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> In Peter's room, I'm just going to wake him up. <laughs> I've got a live chicken. Peter. Peter, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, there's a lot of stuff on the floor down here, Peter, and like this seems, I don't know. Oh, it's a spinal column, yuck. Maybe I should just bring a broom down here for you if you wanted to sweep up some of the skeletons. I don't know, you know, it may Peter's 8,000 years old. We're not going to have Peter at the meeting. Okay, so... 
Deacon. You're a cool guy, but you're not pulling your weight in the flat. Oh, I'm glad to hear that I'm cool. <laughs> no, that's not the point, though. The point is, Deacon, that you have not done the dishes for five years. Vladislav is right. It's unacceptable to have so many bloody dishes all over. The... Vampires don't do dishes. OK, so one day I was selling my wares, and then this creature flies at me. And it was Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still friends today. Vladislav <laughs> is just like this older vampire. Who, and, you know, to be living this long and to have seen the things that he's seen. <laughs> and still, like, kind of have it together. I mean, hats off to him. I was known for uh, torturing a lot of people. Vlad the Impaler, presumably. I would poke someone with implements. I was known as Vladislav the Poker. <laughs> he can be very fussy. Negs and negs. I went in the lounge the other day and there was blood all over my nice antique couch. Which one? The red one? Well, it's red now, yeah. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Vampires have had a pretty bad rap. We're not these mopey old creatures who live in castles. And well, some, most of us are, a lot are. But there are also those of us who like to flat together in really small countries like New Zealand. And if you were a Nazi vampire, <laughs> no way. I was out of there. Oh, I love the tone so far. This is awesome. Yeah, I came to this country for love. I was smitten. Her family emigrated to New Zealand. He put the wrong postage on my coffin, so the whole journey took about 18 months. <laughs> and when I got here, she had found someone else. <laughs> she gave me this before she left. That's me, I put myself in You can't there. touch silver. We're playing that as one of the rules in this world. <laughs> Take it off, you idiot. Tonight we are going out into Wellington Central. It is important that we look good. Yeah, it's really good, yeah. Things about not having a reflection is that you don't know exactly what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> look, a ghost cap. We can give each other feedback and help each other out until we're looking great. No. Please change it. When you're a vampire, <laughs> you become very sexy. I go for a look which I call dead but delicious. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Vampire, Vampire style. Vampire style. <laughs> Vampire style. <laughs> Taking the bus. There are between 60 and 70 vampires in the greater Wellington region. <laughs> He's um, a guy I used to work with when I was human. <laughs> Tell you're always going to look the same age. What are you doing tonight? Are you going to kill some perverts? Yeah, we're meeting a pedophile. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're meeting a pedophile. Yeah, cool. It's the hottest night spot for vampires in Wellington. <laughs> oh, jeez. Perhaps you could bring some people to the house. Sure. Perhaps some virgins. Virgins, yep. Okay. Well, I'm his familiar. He's my master. He tells me what to do. I do it. He is going to give me eternal life, um, which is when very exciting. <laughs> so, tell me what you do. What do you? I'm thinking about going to uni, actually. <laughs> He's just putting out newspaper and towels. <laughs> what a mess. Shit! <laughs> oh. 
on the upside, I think she had a really good time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's even messing with his mic. I love it. They Oh, I love the mockumentary idea of this. Vladislav used to be extremely powerful, but he suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of his arch nemesis, the Beast. And he's never been the same. See me. See me. <laughs> See me. Oh, Vladislav. Would you like to come inside? He got invited, but <laughs> not impressed. Hoping for something younger and female. This is Nick, ex-ex boyfriend. And Josephine. What else? And this is Deacon, my overseas friend from Europe. Do you like that, Nick? Yep. This was... I will go and prepare dinner. Please. <laughs> this is so awkward. I think we drink virgin blood because it sounds cool. <laughs> it sounds cool. <laughs> Are you a virgin? I'm not, no. Okay, I'm really sorry, because I totally pinned her as a virgin. Who would have sex with her? I wouldn't. Good. What is this? Yum. Nick, do you like biscotti? So this is my favorite trick. We present our guest with a plate of biscotti. <laughs> biscotti. <laughs> I didn't realize you enjoyed eating worms, Nick. No, no. We stole that idea from the Lost Boys, <laughs> but I put a nice twist on it. <laughs> we stole that from the Lost Boys. Too funny. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he never gets the faces right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Peter. Oh, no. Peter got him. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> nice. Hey, what are you guys doing? What are you doing, Nick? Oh, did he get turned? Hi, my name is Nick. Hey, guys. I've been a vampire for two months. <laughs> I think everyone's always wanted to fly, and now I can do it. <laughs> this is my friend Stu. Hey, he works in computers and stuff. It just like, it really, really sucks that I can't eat him. Look at it. He's the reddest guy I know. <laughs> I don't think Nick should have been turned into a vampire. He's such a dick. <laughs> This place is pretty cheesy. Also, did you see the jacket he wore? He's wearing the same jacket as me. <laughs> this guy's jealous because he's not the youngest anymore. He was just about to walk past a werewolf, so some shit might go down. <laughs> Look out, guys. Don't catch fleas. What's that, mate? Fika. Sorry, what are you filming? It's a music guys, video, is it? <laughs> we don't want any trouble. Huh? Slide of the concords. Why don't you go smell your own crotches, huh? Oh, come on, what are you talking about? It. We don't smell our own crotches. We smell each other's crotches. You're on camera, yeah. mate. Don't, don't do what? it. What? Sorry, they, they yeah. we're we're werewolves. Not swimming. What are we? Werewolves, we're we're not swimming. Oh, no, 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 it's a very offensive word it's to offensive call people. Chase, this bundle oh, of sticks. Werewolves? No, no, don't no, get no, it. No, it's not real. It's Nathan, just, it's not real. Oh, he's just going to take off his gloves. All right. Enjoy your night. Shame yourselves, man. Great. We didn't want this to happen. They're all so lame. It's awesome. He's definitely my best mate, and I'm not going to eat him. If they ever offer you spaghetti, um, you shouldn't eat it. <laughs> I think they offered me biscotti. <laughs> biscotti? <laughs> we really like him. At first, I wanted to kill him. But? But now, I'm glad I spent the time to get to know him. There is a crucifix behind you. <laughs> so down on that one, like halfway down, we'll focus it. Maybe smile. <laughs> we can look at her photos. Oh yes. Or we could poke her. 
He's a poker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's a virgin if she's doing that. <laughs> Philip, du hast das falsche Proto auf die Box gezerrt. Oh, this is the guy that sent him to New Zealand the wrong way. Du hast mir versprochen, mich in einen Vampir zu verwandeln. Oh. So, es war ganz troll, dich zu sehen. Man ich sieht sich, Philipp. Ich habe gewartet, oh, ich Meister. Ich hier, no. <laughs> Just hanging up on him. Oh. <laughs> Awkward. Oh, this is so pedestrian. I love it. Oh, is that the love of his life? Is that Catherine? How many people have you told you a vampire? Not many. I'm a vampire, though. You're a vampire? Yeah. I'm a vampire hunter, man. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh? You show me. Show me some of your vampire stuff. What have I got? Um... <laughs> you shut up, guys. You shut up. You shut up. You, you shut up. You shut up. Ooh, bad fight! <laughs> bad fight! <laughs> bad fight! Awesome! Oh no, I wouldn't eat that. Why? <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> My favorite food, I can't eat chips. Fashion chops. I hate... I'll say, I'm over being a vampire. It's shit. He's over it. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> I'm over it. Don't. <laughs> oh, I'm just repeating all the jokes, but it's freaking hilarious. He jumped in front of your place. All I'm saying is that um. It's not fair. You know, if I had a penis, I would have been. I would have been bitten years ago. <laughs> I also saw how happy she was, and that made me kind of happy. And I didn't want to ruin it for her, so stepped back and let her live her life. How'd the sunlight get downstairs? What happened? A friend has just been killed in a fatal sunlight accident. What happened? So this is what I think happened. The vampire hunter is broken through the window here. Oh, oh shit. Is he the vampire hunter? I know that guy, actually. <laughs> They built a a rotating set. Oh shit. Yeah, good evening, sir. Hello, Felice. Hi. <laughs> hi. We're just checking over the scene, making sure everything's um, you know, above board, so to speak, and uh, making sure no one's in danger, that kind of thing. You will not notice anything out of the ordinary. No, we certainly hope not. Let's just Hi fellas. Hello. Um, is this the uh, room we've heard all the shouting coming from? I'm not a great hypnotizer, so I could wear off any second. <laughs> You're joking. Not a smoke alarm in sight. No smoke detectors, mate. Adhesive, mate. That's a flammable. Oh, yeah. Then you've got a lamp on top of that, directly underneath the power source. Oh, that is quite bad. It's very, bad. It's a very bad combination. And no smoke detectors again, are they? Let's kill them. No. Well, let's just see what other safety points they have and then we'll be very <laughs> What other safety points? <laughs> <laughs> Nick's, Nick's not gonna last. I call into session this trial of Nick. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Stu. So, the new number one. It's a four color bick. I don't know why I find that so funny. You should be banished from our flat indefinitely. So I can come back? No, one no. Day. Indefinitely means there is no end. I thought that uh, was like... No, indefinite means that it's not a definite thing. It can be changed. It's but indefined. It's it could be tomorrow, it could be six months. No, no it is not tomorrow. 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 Forget it's about at least six months. six months. You are banished. That's it. But Stu, you can visit if you like. Thank you. You will be made to suffer the procession of shame. I asked them, Nick, I asked them not to pass that sentence. You didn't ask, you were saying yes. 
Shame. 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 Bad Shame. vampire. Shame. <laughs> oh, it's like the worst Game of Thrones <laughs> recreation ever. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I do. Several months later. They have burnt the edges. Like a treasure map or something. It's very authentic, doesn't it? The Wellington Vampire Association, in conjunction with the Lower Hutt Vampire Witch Club and the Karori Zombie Society, invites you to attend the Unholy Masquerade on the night of the 6th of June, starting at 6 p.m. 666. 666. Oh, yeah. The location. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cathedral of Despair. And the guests of honor will be. Who is it? Show me. Hmm. It's not Vladislav. The Beast. <laughs> you can't go to the Baller's Blade. He's a vampire hunter. Yeah, but vampires love Wesley Snipes. So it's no, all... it's inappropriate. <laughs> Just leave me to do my dark bidding on the internet. What are you bidding on? I'm bidding on the table. Have a good time. <laughs> Victoria Bowling Club, aka the Cathedral of Despair. I'm just repeating every joke. I know I don't have a ton of like insightful commentary. I'm just loving this. <sighs> hey, <laughs> Jackie. <Yeah. laughs> this is an undead part. Yeah, I'm a vampire. You'll have your. How'd you get turned? I'm a vampire. <laughs> so, um, who bit you? Oh, Nick. Oh, Greg. Oh, he's here. Stu. Stu. Oh. Is Stu a vampire? <laughs> no, he's still red. This year's guest of honor, Pauline Ivanovich. That's the beast. It, My ex girlfriend, Pauline. <laughs> the makeup's awesome on him. Hello. That's the <gasps> oh, the reflections. Are you, are you, are you predeceased? <laughs> uh, we gotta get him out. Okay, let's, okay, let's follow me. Follow me. They brought the human. Uh, hi, my name is Stu. Um, I work in IT. I can't hear. Louder. Stu, they can't hear you. They cannot hear you. Hi, my name is Stu. Uh, I'm a software analyst. I work for a geographic information systems company. No! Hello, beast. Hello, asshole. Hey, don't call me asshole. Don't call me. Beast. This is a private secret society, it's mate. You don't beast. go bringing your bloody cameras and do everything. You will not eat stew and you will not eat the camera right. guy. Maybe I'm one camera guy. <laughs> it is forbidden for vampires. To kill a vampire. Oh. Oh. What the? Let it. <laughs> Get out. Oh. We should probably go, Stu. That was great. Oh, we, both, we both together equally destroyed that guy. Yeah. You smell that? Werewolves again? Yeah, I know. Well, I'm Werewolves. transformation yeah. night. It's all right, all right? I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> I was just reminding you. Stop <laughs> talking and chain yourself up, you dickhead. Get out of here. Quick. Take all your clothes off that you want to keep, everyone. Get that army surplus jacket off. You've only just bought that, Nathan. <laughs> you only just bought <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the blood! Stu! Stu! Is Stu getting turned? It's too late for him! But this is what happens when you're a vampire. You have to watch everyone die. Like slipping and falling onto a giant spike. Or making the simple mistake of fashioning a mask out of crackers and being attacked by ducks. Geese. What is he? But even old age is brutal. If I know Stu, this was probably the way he wanted to go. I'm going to say no. I hope I made you feel better. <laughs> this is not good. No, not good at all. <laughs> not good at all. Torn apart by uh, what looks like a pack of dogs, more than more than just yes, one. Yeah, I'd say so. Go. Got the bastard. Oh. 
one of them here, right? Oh no! That's what we're talking about. Look oh at no! The no don't the kill the border collie. To be put down. What a shame. No! Don't kill the border collie. Oh. Oh. They say that vampires' hearts are cold and dead, but I don't know. I think I still feel things inside it. Hey, Deacon. Stu! How's it? <laughs> Good to see you. Is he a, he's got to be a werewolf. They didn't kill me. It looks cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Meet some of our friends. You. Anton. Jordan. Deacon. Hi, Anton. Anton. Seriously? Those werewolf guys um, eventually found me. And they had some... <laughs> they likely met some pets. That's the reenactment. <laughs> Hopefully we won't, you know. <laughs> we were worried at first, you know, we thought, oh, they're just going to urinate on everything. But uh, they're actually really polite and pretty clean. So I made the call. I'm the alpha male. Yeah, so generally all the other guys follow me. Thanks, guys. So Catherine's a vampire now. Oh. Yeah, we decided to get together. We just thought to hell with it, you know. What have we got to lose? I don't mind being a vampire, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, they think, what's this 96-year-old lady doing with a guy four times her age? And, you know, I don't care. It they doesn't can... make any difference. No, they can call me Cradle Snatcher. Who cares? I decided <laughs> to bite her, and we're going to be together forever. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize Jermaine was co-director. That's awesome. You will not remember the last hour and a half of what you have just seen. <laughs> uh, well, that was just fun. That was a lot of fun. I didn't know Jermaine Clement was... I knew he... I think I knew he was in it. But I didn't realize he was co-director, co-producer as well. And I, I apologize for not knowing that. It's been ages since I've watched uh, Flight of the Concords, but uh, they were a ton of fun back in the day. I, uh, I, I really enjoyed that series. Nice to see Reese Darby as the, uh, the alpha of the werewolves <laughs> rejoining from that show as well. This doesn't take any heavy analysis, guys. It's just a fun, light vampire comedy. I love the take on it because one of the things that I think Taika Waititi does really well is he takes these things that are supposed to be grand and majestic and dramatic, like a superhero movie or a vampire movie, and he, he makes them mundane and finds this insane level of humor in that mundanity, uh, if that's a word. Is mundanity a word? In this mundaneness? I don't know. And, and, and it's just hilarious just seeing these these three vampires just try, trying to live with no clue how to live in, in modern society and just taking the piss out of every every bit of vampire lore. It's, it's great. It's so much fun. Yeah, I don't have a ton of comments, but if the TV series is is the, of a similar vibe as this, and I'm assuming it is, then I, I definitely want to check it out. My only fear is it doesn't necessarily take a ton of analysis. It's just sit back and laugh. But I've been sitting back and laughing a lot of my British comedy content so maybe that's enough anyway um i'd love to hear what you guys thought of this movie when you saw it i wonder how far how widespread it got when it first came out i'm, I'm assuming it it did a bit in the festival circuit and stuff did it have a theatrical release in north america i don't know you know mockumentary is a great way to do a low budget film because you can excuse so much. You can excuse bad lighting and 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 
I don't want to say bad lighting and bad cinematography, but you don't have to have studio level lighting and, and cinematography. You can you can have shaky handheld and just and spotlight lighting and there, there's cheap shortcuts that are available to you because of that. The Wood Vampires is actually a really great way to keep a film low budget because they spend so much of their time just in this house. You know, I, I would imagine a bunch of their um, their budget went to visual effects. You know, the, the the guys flying about and stuff. But the the good thing about those visual effects is that's primarily rot rotoscoping out cables and that sort of thing. So you need a little bit of stunt work. You need some visual effects work, but you're, you're not doing anything ridiculously dramatic. Although I'm pretty sure that they built a corridor that that'll spin 360 um, with a locked off camera. I mean, it's the same same technique Christopher Nolan used it in Inception, for instance. This is just a, on a slightly smaller scale, but uh, equally as effective. <sighs> ton of fun uh, just a ton of fun really really entertaining movie let me know if you guys would like to see me react to the series it could be a ton of fun i know what i think we're in season three now but i can't imagine there there are a ton of episodes per season so that might be a lot of fun for the channel let me know if there's some interest yeah join me next week for another movie until then everybody take care stay healthy and we'll see you soon Cheers.